Today's video is sponsored by Game Time. This, this is the best defense to use in Madden 24. No, it shuts down the run. It's tons of interceptions. And gets instant sacks all game. <laughs> So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. Stick around after the intro. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description of the top 10 comment. I'm going to be using a brand new defense today in the Big Nickel Over G, as I can tell from some of the comments that you guys want me to use something other than the 3-4 odd all the time. As this defense is the reason I switched from the multi-D to the Raiders in the first place, the Eagles are still undefeated in real life, so I'll be using them once again as they have a ton of cheap speed throughout out their secondary which is perfect for this defense with guys like six foot two 94 speed keely ringo at safety and 94 speed isaiah rogers in the slot and another 90 speed rookie in sydney brown as well i will mostly be running man zero so i want to put some of these freakishly athletic cornerbacks in at the safety spots for better coverage i usually leave my user as a linebacker so i can stand up to the lineman better and not get weak box against the run but it's really situational if my opponent is run heavy i'll go to two linebackers if he is pass heavy i'll go to two safeties but i always start the game in between with one of each to have the best of both worlds. My audible plays are the SS linebacker blitz. This is probably my favorite manager of blitz play, even though I use several from this formation. I also use the SS blitz two and three as I get the same blitzing box safety, just with different coverages that I mix in and try to confuse my opponents with. And the last play might be my favorite in the cover six or cover nine since they're really the same play just flipped. For my coaching adjustments, I just made an entire video breaking down the best coaching adjustments to use right now, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over that, but I will have a link in the description and on screen at the end of this video if you want to know more. The most important coaching adjustment that pertains to this scheme though is to set your auto alignment to base. As I'm going to blitz the same safety on just about every play but I want to confuse my opponent with the coverage behind it. On the first play since he comes out in an empty backfield all I have to do is use the blitzing linebacker and hover the guard gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage. And look how easily the blitzing safety loops around with literally no adjustments. <laughs> There's also another man zero play called the LB Blitz, which is basically the Overstorm Braves. It works the exact same way. Only this time I get the sack. Bring that ass here, boy. As we push him back to third and 25. I choose it again on the next play as there are two different setups that you can do for this defense. The coverage version is the one that I just showed where I had no user responsibility or the aggressive setup which I'll show you now. For this setup I'm going to use whoever is assigned to the running back and hover the center pre-snap before dropping back into coverage once again. If the running back blocks, which is likely since I'm going to be sending so much pressure, I can drop back and cover whoever I want but if he goes out in a pattern I have to follow because he is my responsibility. This can be dangerous but since he needs 25 yards the running back is not likely to pick that up. We can as he doesn't even get the throwaway once again decides to punt. But since I keep Quez back there and he's a cheat code, we get a huge return as we start this drive in field goal range already. Uh, one that big though. Not that I will be kicking field goals. <laughs> as I probably would have scored there if I didn't get a stupid jumping animation for the catch. So I score in the next play, but it's not nearly as cool. Back on defense, I switched to cover three, but I only use this and the cover two to mix up my looks as neither are great in coverage. Not like the cover six or the cover nine that I will show you in a minute, as he hurries me up and I decide to switch to the cover six that's in my audibles. Now there is a setup to this, but I don't have enough time to do it on this play before he hikes the ball, but it doesn't matter as he makes a poor read and throws an interception anyway. Gotcha, bitch! And I have a lot of space for a return as I get it back to midfield. From here, he switches his defense to the noob spinner blitz to get me into a quick third and ten. But Spinner Blitz doesn't cover the running back. So on third down, I motion across the tight end pre-snap to clear out the side. Psych! And now there is no one out here to tackle my running back. And this is looking like a giant handoff as we almost score. But he shuts me down from here, so I take the field goal for a two-possession lead. He goes empty backfield once again and starts running hurry up and pushing the ball downfield against my cover three blitz. So anytime I want to stop the bleeding, I will choose either the cover six or the man zero. I think about cover six, but I switch to man zero at the last minute. And Bradbury makes a huge play for the interception. And I think that was a mic drop, as it doesn't even look like he's playing anymore. I'm out of here. So once I score again against this computer, I just wait for my quiet rage quit. See ya. In my next game, we have an even bigger trash talker. You ass. Quit the game, big bro. 
using one of the only two teams that I've lost to this year in the Cincinnati Bengals. But before I get into that, I first want to take 60 seconds to tell you about today's video sponsor, Game Time. Buying tickets to any event can be expensive, and if you're not familiar with the technology, it can also be a hassle in a number of ways. I recently bought tickets to an MMA fight when I was in Vegas, and the process was really stressful. As you're spending hundreds of dollars, but you don't even know if the seats you're getting are going to have a good view. A lot of times it feels like gambling, but I just want what I paid for. And that's exactly why I use Game Time, as they're the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase and you will see the view from your seat every time before you buy they also have the lowest price guarantee event cancellation protection even job loss protection and if you find tickets in the same section row for less game time will credit you 110 percent of the difference they also offer flash deals every time you visit their site to save even more money as i'm always looking for last minute ticket deals for eagles and phillies games and they have a program called zone deals where you pick the section you want to be in and they pick the seats which saves you an average of 18 percent off the normal ticket price because game time is obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. And the best part is, with all in pricing, they show you the total up front without hidden fees. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code MONEYSHOT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code MONEYSHOT, that's M-O-N-E-Y-S-H-O-T, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. This shit too easy. Back to the second game, my opponent's talking mad shit and coming out in two tight end sets to try to pound the rock. So I want to make a statement right away. Fuck you! And we start by meeting his running back in the backfield at the handoff and dumping him for a three yard loss. But he's still talking shit. I get a defense called for me on the next play while still making my adjustments, and now he thinks he's good. As he tries to pass on the next play, and we just barely keep him from getting the first down to force a fourth and inches. And you better believe I don't even want to let this guy get a first down, as I want this stop. Gotcha, bitch! But I'll settle for a pick six instead as we jump the route with N'Kobe Dean, the scoring machine, and take it all the way to the house. Fuck you! But this guy is still talking shit. This shit too easy, my boy. You can play it as gay as you want. He's already gave up on running the balls. It looks like his plan is to just try to moss me. Nope. What? But I get the most bullshit PI penalties that I've ever had in my life in this game, as Madden gives him a first down in field goal territory. So from here, I switch back to the cover six and fake the blitz to try to confuse him as I almost get another pick. I get him to a third and nine after that before I play underneath on the next play and almost give up a score in the back of the end zone bring up fourth down and if i didn't want him to earn a first down you better believe i don't want him to get this score no, sir, for you. the offense that i'm using in today's video is out of my gun wing flex offset i've already made a full breakdown of this offense and several gameplays but i'm going to focus mostly on defense in this video so if you guys want to see more i will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video i start to drive out by running with the power row which might be my new favorite run play from this formation he gets me into a third down but i just take the wheel route from the mesh spot for an easy first down i do it again a few plays later and he is watching that now Oh, you almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. But he was just a step behind as he almost gets a pick six, and we almost get a touchdown on one of the easiest plays ever. From here, I don't want to do anything stupid, so I just pound the rock a few times until it gets me to the one-yard line. And you know what that means. You know what's coming. Time for the Philly special, the old tush push. Most realistic game ever. Back on defense and back to this insane pressure. Woo! before he completes a big pass over the middle to get to midfield against my cover zero. So anytime someone has figured my man out, I just switch to cover six to confuse him. Gotcha, bitch! He could go all the way! As we get back to the one yard line, only this time it's not a layup. Bruh. As it takes me three tries to get into the end zone. And I take back everything I said because it would never take the Eagles three fucking tries. Bullshit. Now I'm 21 nothing on this jackass. Someone might want to check on him because he's being really quiet all of a sudden. Back on defense, he finally finds a hole in my zone. So when he hurries me up, I decide to make a new adjustment to take that away by putting the middle linebacker into a middle third. And it works as he holds the ball this time before throwing it up into a crowd and getting rewarded with another bullshit P.I. call as I was just trying to get the ball. Oh, come on! So now he is on the one yard line, but he's too cool to do the QB sneak like me. God damn it! As he basically was gifted that touchdown, and now he thinks he's good. Back in offense, I am pissed, so even though I'm up big, I want to score fast. So I'm running hurry up as well, and my eyes are big as I can see the running back get wide open down the field against his cover four match. <laughs> I hope he didn't see that as I line up to do it again, but he follows it this time, so clearly he did. But he also sucks in coverage, so I'm going right at this loud mouth. Fuck you! As it always feels better to beat his user instead of the CPU coverage. Do it! 
Back on defense, Joe Burrow never looked so good. I mean, this is prime week one Joe Burrow stuff here. You know, like when he threw for 82 yards in the first game against the Browns? Nope. As he is just lobbing it up every time, praying for another P.I. call, but he's not Patrick Mahomes. All right, I'll give him credit. That one was a legit P.I. call. And fuck this guy. So we go back to cover six again, as this has gotten me the most takeaways so far. <laughs> And he is clearly having issues playing against his defense as we end the half. I get the ball back after half up three scores, but I'm playing like I'm down 28-3 in the Super Bowl. As I am now directly going after this bum, so he takes the full brunt of his failures. I don't want him to live in the delusion that he lost for any other reason than he sucks. No glitch routes, just me beating his horrible user. As we slip through a crack in the line to get a one-on-one. -on -one oh, it's out! Before a CPU defender comes back and bails him out. Before I was really about to embarrass him further. Lucky, I was just finna get up in your ass. We get back to the one-yard line again. You know what's coming? And he came in the game with a bang but he left with a whimper so that's that's the video give this defense a try and let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you want to see more about the offense or coaching adjustments i was using in today's video i'll have them popping up on screen other than that until next time thanks for watching memo shit out if you more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below